now we want to solve the sol uh, differential equation of SHM and simple harmonic oscillation. We know the differential equation is d2y dt2 plus omega square y equals to 0. So these are differential equation. So to solve this differential equation, we need a auxiliary function let y equals to a e to the power alpha t. So this is the auxiliary equation. So first derivative dy dt equals to a alpha e to the power alpha t and d2 d2y dt2 equals to a alpha square e to the power alpha t. So just put this value in equation 1 we get a alpha square e to the power alpha t plus omega square a e to the power alpha t equals to 0 this implies alpha square plus omega square equals to 0 that is alpha equals to plus minus i omega so there should be two solution y1 equals e to the power i omega and another equals to y2 equals to e to the power minus i omega so i omega t minus i omega t so resultant solution gives y equals to some constant y1 that is let a e to the power i omega t plus b e to the power minus i omega t now you know e to the power i theta equals to cos theta plus i sin theta and e to the power minus i theta equals to equals to cos theta minus i sin theta so just put this it, this is the i omega t so just y convert to a cos omega t plus sin omega t plus b b cos omega t minus sin omega t sin omega sorry sin omega t so just y equals to taking common cos omega t we get a plus b cos omega t plus b sorry plus a minus b sin omega t let a plus b equals to a1 and a minus b equals to a2 then y equals to a1 cos omega t plus a2 sin omega t so this is the general solution of a differential equation so it's a combination of cos omega t and sin omega t so it has a physical significance let a simple oscillation like a pendulum start oscillation from the extreme point means the maximum oscillation so at time t y equal to maximum then then we get y max equals to at time t equals to 0 y max so cos 0 1 there is a 1 a 1 and a 2 gives 0 so a 1 is y max and y equals to y max cos omega t so when a pendulum oscillate from a extreme point then the remaining is y equals to y max cos omega t and when 
it comes to oscillate from zero position that is uh, from the normal condition means vertical condition so zero then y convert to like y max sin omega t so these, these are special condition and this y equals to a1 cos omega t plus a2 sin omega t is a general solution it can be simplified also it can be simplified using taking a1 a2 as a another constant let a1 equals to cos delta and a2 equals to sin delta where sorry a1 equals to let a1 take a1 equals to a constant a cos delta and a2 equals to a sin delta so equation converts to a a cos delta cos omega t plus a sin delta sin omega t so this is like cos a cos b plus sin a sin b equals to a cos omega t minus delta delta so this is a simplified solution also where a equals to root over a1 square plus a2 square and delta equals to dividing uh, this value by this value that is sin delta by cos, cos delta equals to a2 by a1 that is delta equals to tan inverse a2 by a1 so these are simplified solution means we can plot this solution with the uh, displacement means if we plot the omega t t along this and this is the displacement y then displacement is like cos curve that is first decreasing and in again increasing with the time period and the maximum is a here delta indicates the phase difference or initial phase from where the oscillation start come to oscillates means when uh, t equals to 0 this implies cos delta so if we take a oscillation suppose this is oscill oscillating a pendulum so if delta equals to 0 means the oscillation comes from this point and we know that y at t equals to 0 y equals to cos delta so delta have a value 